guys! Today I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to do a book haul and I haven't done a book haul for, I'm going to say years, I can't remember the last time I did it. Basically I turned 21 and I was lucky enough to get at least £40 worth of book vouchers for my 21st birthday and I just went mad today and spent them. If you watched our wrap up or our TBR you know that we went on a huge shopping spree, got things such as a dark duet and United as one, which is a new pick as well, but which may be make an appearance in this video. But first I'm going to start off by showing you three books that I bought on the 3 for £10 from Amazon. If you haven't seen this before, basically you get three books for £10. You have to scroll through and it takes forever and it's difficult to look at, but you get some right bargains. I've got A Court of Wings and Ruin and like Lady Midnight and like crazy good books on there. But what I got was something a little bit different because I'm fancying a change. I got... Kate Atkinson, Life After Life, I basically bought it for the fox and the bunny, which I've said in another video as well because it's so true. It's basically about a snowstorm in England and a baby dies, but then the next paragraph on the blurb says the snowstorm in England and then the baby lives and then gets to tell the tale about it. So it's basically about regeneration book, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks so beautiful and I've got this on my summer, summer read TBR, even though it alternates chapters between snow and peace and armistice. So it's not the sun sunniest or summeriest book in the world, but I'm very excited to read it. The next book I've got, I've also talked about in previous videos, and that is the collection of short stories by Stephen King called The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. Some of the cool titles sound like Mr. Yummy, that sounds good. The Little Green God of Agony, The Bus is Another World, it just sounds like really weird and like, I've never read any Stephen King before so I'm really excited to get into this and I'm actually quite a big fan of short stories and these like are quite chunky ones as well so I'm really excited to see what Stephen King has to offer. The next book that I've got to read is very similar to Laura's Penguin's Lessons if you look at her June TBR and that is Arthur by Mikael Lindlord, Lindnord and basically it's about this little dog called Arthur and the man in it is running 430 miles through South America and then he finds a little dog called Arthur and he, he just follows him through the jungle and races home and look at little Arthur I am so excited to read this book it's got pictures in and oh my gosh it's such a lovely looking dog and I can't wait to hear about him me and Laura recently started picking up running a lot again this is a guy who runs 435 miles that's just mental with a cute little dog so I think this is just going to be the best dog the best dog the best book to read over summer the next book I am super super excited about because me and Laura got this through the post and that is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Laura and James. This is actually a proof copy. The actual physical book isn't out till the 7th of September but basically it's about a girl called Romy Silvers and she's on a spaceship on her own but then she starts making communication with a boy called Jay and this is how I'm so excited. Apparently it's like psychological thriller, like touch of romance. And Lauren James has said that it can be spoiled in four to five words, which means there's gonna be a twist or some sort of underlying plot twist throughout that's just gonna blow my mind. And it's so short, and we're both reading it in June, and at this video, I might not even have read it by now. So hello, future me. I hope you enjoyed The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. But the packaging for this, I just wanna say, Walker Books did such a good job. They had it in a little like glowy paper like little package and they wrote a letter to me and Laura saying this is a transmission and it had like little stars in it, little bits of glowy paper and it was just so cool. The next book and in fact the next like seven books I have bought from Waterstones today in our shopping spree and the first one is Stranger Than Fan Fiction by Chris Colfer because I love Chris Colfer, he's a genius, he's so talented and I just want to see if he's as talented as writing which I think he's going to be. I love I love the cover, it's a bit weird, I, I think it looks like more of a non-fiction book if I'm honest but it is fiction and it's about a, a young man called Cash Carter who goes on a road trip with four of his fans because he's a TV actor, young star and these fans don't think that these are obviously not going to go with them but then he does and apparently it says that what they learn about life is mysterious person and it teaches them about power and empathy and basically road trip is one of my buzzwords so I'm dead excited to read this plus Chris Colfer plus like deep emotional stuff 
stuff from like being famous and all that trauma that it can cause. I just can't wait to read this either. The next book I want to read is another person that I admire and that is Anna Kendrick's autobiography Scrappy Little Nobody which just sounds amazing, it sounds so funny. It's just about her discussing like the big topics like boys, like Hollywood, her double life and leaving the nest which might be good as we're graduating in the next month. I basically just want to see what she's got to say and which I find her really really funny. So I, oh, I forgot she was in Twilight, I just read it on the blurb, that's amazing. We used to love Twilight, so basically I have grown up with Kanna Kendrick and never really found out because show choir is kind of a running theme in my... In my <laughs> booked, uh, I forgot what this is called, I never do them, book calls. So yeah, we've got Anna Kendrick as well. The next book I'm surprised I have not read sooner because that is Born Weird by Andrew Kaufman. And if you watch a speck of this channel, you will know that All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman is one of my favourite books of all time. So why haven't I read all of his books? That is because Water Bible, I didn't really get on with. Tiny Wife is actually a tiny book, but I actually really enjoyed it. And I haven't heard very good things about Born Weird, but basically it's about a family called Weirds who have similar quirkinesses like the people doing all my friends are superheroes like they've got like blessings but also curses which they call blursins and basically like an example of this would be like Richard the oldest would always keep safe Abba would always have hope like things like that like things that make them kind of like supernatural but in in a way they're sort of still human but I really like Andrew Kaufman's way of writing and I'm excited to, because this is actually like a proper book size so if this is really enjoyable it has the possibility be one of my new favourite books of all time which is always exciting. The next book I bought was Patrick Ness's release. I'm hearing a lot of lot of good things about it. Apparently it's about this guy called Adam who's in the forest in summer and all that it says is that his life is going to change and everything's going to fall apart but maybe he'll find freedom in the release and it's so vague I'm not really a fan of the vagueness but also Patrick Ness is is a bit of a mental writer some books I love some books I hate some books I need to give another chance um, like the Chaos Walking trilogy but I will always give Patrick Ness a shot because I think even if I don't like some of his books I am drawn to his writing style so I'm gonna read release over summer because it's on my summer TBR and I'll let you know how I find it the next book I've got to show you is the last book in the Lorian Legacies series by Pitika Saw, which is United as One, otherwise known as the I Am Number Four series. This, there's been seven books, and this is the seventh. This is the last one. And the thing that's annoyed me is that it went I Am Number Four, then it went six, and then it went nine, and then it went five. And it would have been nice if we could have them in order, um, for reasons it, that couldn't happen, but it would have been nice. This all looks dark and mysterious and the end of The Fate of Ten was heartbreaking. Um, someone died, I won't say who, but like it was really, really sad. Um, so I'm, I'm a bit like, I don't know what's going to happen in United as One because surely for half of it it's just going to be moping because it's going to affect the characters a lot. So I don't know what's going to happen. They're probably going to be brought back to life. I know there's a lot of controversy controversy around its author so probably no one cares about this but if you're already watching thank you there's got another good one coming next i promised you that the next book you'd actually be interested in so here <laughs> it is it's lord of shadows obviously if you haven't read like mortal instruments and infernal devices don't read lord of shadows but if you have and then you've read lady midnight too read this gorgeousness because who is that is that the lord of shadows who is it is that, I forgot his name, is that Julian? Is this like London? Why are they in London? Why are they not in LA? What's going on? I have forgotten what happened in Lady Midnight, so I've got to give it a good a good read over. But basically, I've been sitting like this because I remembered that Mark and Kieran exist and as characters. I don't really want to read it. It's not on my June TBR. Can't see it being on my July TBR. But I reckon it will be on my September because I reckon I'm going to start wanting to read it around Christmas time when it starts to get all mysterious and like shadow hunter territory. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And this is a Waterstones exclusive which contains an extra chapter which I'm really excited about seeing the differences between that. So while everyone's hyping it, I'm just going to put it to the side for a bit because I haven't heard great things but hopefully I will enjoy it when I finally get around to it. 
And the last book is one that was a surprise and which is why I've left it to last. It's actually one that I'm really excited for. Laura pointed that out to me and she was like, oh, why don't you get this one? And I was like, because everyone's like saying about Wing Jones and that's what it is, by Catherine Webber. And I was like, oh, that sounds a bit rubbish. But then she was like, but it's diverse and it's about family and it's about running and it's beautiful. Why would you not like this, Amy? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know why I was being so stubborn about not even like knowing i didn't even want to find out what it was about i don't know why i do that sometimes but now i know and basically it's about wing jones whose grandmother is from china and she's got another grandmother from ghana and then her worlds collide but then tragedy strikes and it sounds so good and i want to know what the tragedy is but then obviously she gets really into running and it could bring the family everything she needs so i'm guessing she's going to be really really good at running and it's going to like do something good but I'm just I'm really excited to read it because it's really gorgeous and obviously I've been getting into running but I've been really enjoying my diverse books lately obviously I've been reading Known Voices but with Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give and I absolutely adored it it was absolutely amazing it was just something so different as well because I am getting fed up of just reading about heterosexual white people who fall in love in YA and it is getting old so it would be nice to branch out a bit and all these books are uh, as amazing if not even more incredible so I just can't wait to ring I just can't wait to read this. So that was a really long book haul. I enjoyed that so much. It's been so long since I did a book haul and I really just enjoy talking about every single one of those books that I've bought. I'm just so excited to get around to reading them all. I probably will have by about September I reckon. Read all of my new ones hopefully because I have this like thing of reading all my new books but if they get pushed back too far I push them back even further. So I need to get on my TBR. But basically if you've read any of these books that I've talked about or you want to, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I bet there's loads of like Wing Joe's people like, you're gonna love it because I would love that. But also give me motivation to read Lord of Shadows please because I need to keep up with this series. I'm so nearly done with it and it is so good. But basically yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next video now. So enjoy your reading month book lovers and I'll see you later. Bye!